Hey guys, welcome back to my very plain living room. And now it's extra plain because the pillows that I had, Zimba destroyed them all. So now we're here. And if you hear some background noise, it's Zimba. He is actually eating right now. So there he goes. All right, he's going that way. Anywho, this video today, we are going to talk about life with a golden doodle. It's been about, uh, I want to say it's about to be 12 months. Oh my God, it's about to be a year since I have a Zimbo with me. Come here, buddy. Come here. This, this video is about you. Oh, just like, I hope that was water you just like sprayed at me. He turns one in October 12. He's about to be one year old, little puppy. He is a, a big puppy, a big little bear and very fluffy, a little stinky right now. And life with a golden doodle has been very interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these videos that I have for you guys. about to send you off to grandma. What are you doing to my pillow? Life of the Golden Doodle is very interesting. He is very, very needy. But I do want to say I do not regret getting the getting him or this breed whatsoever. He is everything I've ever wanted. Um, sometimes I wish he was a small dog. You know, sometimes I wish I would have gotten a little Chihuahua that I could just stick anywhere. Because I don't know what to do with this big monster. But, but still, he is great. Um, let's go over... Some pointers that i have for you guys oh you stop it i hate when he licks me though so i know you came here to see what life with a golden doodle is like so i'm going to give it to you guys just just wait i'm getting there all right so first in my list he is very needy he is so needy he wants to be on top of you he wants to lick you he just wants to see you you see stop it stop it Do uh, i have he speaks spanish by the way um, but yeah, he always wants attention. He wants to have you on ice, like eyesight. He needs to see you where you're at at all times. So apparently he doesn't like for me to be talking. Stop it! So this is a control for his shock collar. He's very scared of it. So just by seeing the control, he calms down. He goes from 100 to 0 real quick. So that's good. Um, so yeah, he is very clingy. 
clearly very clingy and he's like i want to say he's a little toddler he is literally i feel like he's a human <laughs> inside of a dog body like the things he does it's pretty funny i literally have a conversation with him and i swear you i feel like he understands you me want sometimes you my roommate probably yeah. low-key thinks i'm a little crazy because <laughs> i'm like talking to a he's damn so dog funny. all the damn time um, but it's pretty funny. He is very smart and curious. Like, you could be, I'll say, in the kitchen washing dishes. And he is standing over the counter looking to see what you're doing. Um, I'm in the room doing my makeup. He's just sitting there, like, staring at me to see what I'm doing all the damn time. Very, very curious little dog, little toddler that I have. Um, so, since he's very smart, it's he's pretty easy to, like, train. He learned how to sit and pee and poop like in the location whenever super super quick very quick to potty train and very quick to learn how to sit um i do wish i could afford an actual trainer because there's just so much that he is capable of learning that i just don't have the time to teach him but eventually i do want to get like an actual trainer and teach him a few things for example he needs to stop jumping on people every time i take him out and i know it's because of the fact that i don't take him out as often but he just jumps at strangers all the time and i don't want him to do that because there's people that are kind of scared of him he's a big dog when he comes to you and like fluffy so people can get scared so i want to teach him how to stop doing that how to walk without a leash and stay with me if he sees someone who just goes freaking crazy and just he goes over to like that person i don't want him to do that because whoever comes around he can like easily go with them um so i want to train him how to do that and how to stay well sometimes i tell him sit stay he stays but not for a long period um so i do want to teach him how to stay for a long period and not move a damn muscle so yes i do want to invest in a trainer and i feel like everyone who has this dog should because they have so much capabilities and so much to learn <laughs> he puts his ass on me um stop it so yeah i, I recommend getting a trainer and i think i will i will eventually get him a trainer hopefully not when he's five years old that can afford it but hopefully sometime soon um but yeah he is very hyper too it's a dog that you really need to like take for walks and honestly sometimes i don't have time to do that only like on the weekends um but he loves when i take when i go home he goes to like I, when i take him home he runs in my backyard like back in miami um he runs in the backyard crazy and like he just has a blast he looks so excited he just loves to run looks like a bunny kind of hops it's pretty funny um so yeah so they're really hyper they love to play he always brings me his toys he likes for me to throw it he plays catch very very active dog definitely um and yeah and sometimes i live my apartment is very small and sometimes he's just literally running from one side to the other back and forth crazy crazy it's pretty pretty funny um but yeah it's it's an interesting life and it ain't easy i do not recommend him for like someone who is not home very often especially like in the early years like once they get a hang of everything and they're used to you um, it's fine like you have to go to work for eight hours and they're not gonna see you like whatever it is what it is it's just dog at the end of the day but it is nice to just be around them when they're early and learning so they can get used to you in a way and i don't know it's just so needy and clingy that it's just like a dog i feel like depends on you a lot um so yeah so luckily i've been able to like work from home and stuff so for the, at least this year, the first year with him, I've been able to be with him a lot. Because I got him, he was born October 12th, I got him in December 2020, and right now we're September 2021. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys as well like some clips of like when he was a baby, and then now I'm turning to this beast. Um, but yeah, so when I was looking for a specific dog to get, I am allergic to dogs, so I knew I had to get like a hyperallergenic um, one. So of course, the poodle and the golden doodle makes him hyperallergenic. I am not. 
I haven't suffered any allergies from him, so that's a good sign because if not, homie had to go on sale, Craigslist had to sell him off if that was the case. Um, but yeah, so that's good. So if you are allergies to dogs or stuff, this is a good breed. I just for me, it's worked out so far. And I had a small dog before, so I knew that this time around I just wanted like a big dog, a dog that was more active that I can take on, on walks and stuff. So that's another reason why I didn't get like a toy version of him, a little mini version. Um, but, but yeah, I definitely did my research before getting him and I did see a lot of vlogs of people seeing like they're too hyper, they're too crazy. And yeah, but I feel like it really depends on the dog and their personality. I don't think every dog is the same. Yeah, they sure show like little qualities that are similar and stuff, but each dog is, I feel like they have their, they're their own person, they're their own personality. So I didn't really like pay attention to that as much. Um, but yeah, so they are a little pricey. I did not buy them in Florida when I looked for prices to find an F1, because he's an F1 standard golden doodle. When I looked up prices in Florida, yeah, they were like three thousand, five thousand dollars. Like it was just way too much. So I bought him here from a breeder in North Georgia. So over, it was a little town on top of um, Atlanta, so more up north. And he was a thousand six hundred. Um, the breeders were great. They were really good. They were really good breeders, and it was a good experience. Everything was nice and smooth. I could recommend them so much i got to visit him before i took him home so that was good they're called champions of the heart so very good breeders recommend 100 100 very good so yeah so if you guys have any questions about golden doodles and let me know down below if you guys want to see more videos of zimba let me know down below as well i hope you guys enjoy this video please like and subscribe and i shall see you guys next time bye